Act. Please put your hands together for Navid Nagaban. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lenny. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's such a pleasure and honor to be standing here in front of you guys. I mean, a kid from Mashhad, Iran, on the BAFTA stage. <laughs> so it's just cool. I, I, <laughs> thank you. But I'm sure that you guys are more excited about knowing what's in this envelope. So, uh, award is for the best gaming experience on any mobile device. Uh, we have come a long way. Um, I, I'm so uncomfortable with the teleprompter, I wish I would have memorized this. We have, come, <laughs> we have come a long way from early days of mobile gaming, from Snake 2 on Nokia 3310 in the early 2000 to the new Snake game on the Nokia 3310 on 2017. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> So, <laughs> but whereas mobile, uh, mobile gaming was uh, once thought of as a, a distraction uh, while getting from point A to point B, and uh, now it's considered an art form on itself. Um, so here are the nominees, just please. <laughs> mobile. Wow, okay, and uh, BAFTA for mobile goes to Pokemon Go. Thank you very much. Um, it's a great honor to be recognized here amongst peers who've done such amazing, creative, and innovative work. Um, there's a few people I should thank. Uh, of course, it's a you know it's a team of people that creates this stuff. You guys all know that, but I want to acknowledge you know at least some of the folks on the team back home: um, Tatsu, Dennis, Ed, uh, Kay, uh, Masa. For all the folks out there, um, you guys made this. Um, I also want to thank uh, Mr. Awada, the late Mr. Awada uh, at Nintendo, uh, for backing us and believing in this project, uh, and for our colleagues at the Pokemon Company, in particular Mr. Ishihara, who backed us when we left Google, and for Larry back at Google for supporting what was a really crazy idea uh, back in the beginning. Um, we wanted to make games that uh, we could play with our kids, that would provide some encouragement to just go outside and explore your city or your neighborhood, to get some exercise, and to have fun with some other people in real life. And um, I want to thank everybody who played it, and thank you for recognize, uh, recognizing us here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Navid's going to be telling that uh, snake joke for years, every dinner party. <laughs> Not again, Navid, with the snake joke. As if there could be any doubt, Pokemon Go, best mobile game. Uh, congratulations. I mean, why do you think Pokemon has been such an enduring franchise? Uh, well, it's, uh, gosh, it's a really wholesome, fun concept, and it's been taken care of over so many years by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company. I think they've done a great job of just nurturing that through the animations and mm -hmm. through so many great games. So it was really a great privilege for us to be able to take that and try something, you know, pretty different and pretty, pretty new with it. Well, this is it. I mean, where do you start, like, you know, with Niantic, how do you even begin to kind of... Because you, you guys did, you nailed it. You, you took a, a, such a beloved franchise and, and made your own stamp on it. But, like, how daunting a, a process is that? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, we grew up with it. My kids grew up with Pokemon, so we were really kind of, you know, in awe of our uh, counterparts, the Nintendo company mm -hmm. um, and Pokemon. Uh, and it was, you know, it was a privilege to work with them. Uh, we had our own kind of vision for the kinds of games that we wanted to do. Um, we uh, brought out Ingress, which was our first uh, kind of game in this genre. And then we were thinking about 
you know, how we could continue to evolve that, and Pokemon was mm -hmm. the thing that we wanted to do the most. We thought it was just a perfect fit for the kind of yes. family-friendly, active entertainment that we wanted to build, mm -hmm. and we were super excited whenever they got on board with us, and we were, we were able to do it. Absolutely. I mean, was there a moment, like, because I remember, because the rollout was kind of gra gradual, wasn't it? It was like North America, and then everyone was like, when, when are we getting Pokemon <laughs> going in the UK? Were you guys kind of like, oh gosh, oh gosh, this is so, like, terrifying, but also awesome at the same time? Yeah, I mean, that wasn't... Exactly as planned. We had hoped to roll it out everywhere a lot faster, but yeah, it was kind of an overwhelming response. Uh -huh. and, you know, the team works super hard to just keep things online and then to, you know, gradually get it rolled out. And um, it was exciting and terrifying mm -hmm. and, and fun and amazing. So yeah, it's been a really interesting year. What was the um, what was the most challenging part? Like you know, throughout this year, to, was it kind of keeping up with, with what the fans were requesting, or was it like kind of dealing with the demand? What what, what was it? Yeah, I mean. Um, you know, I guess with any game, you don't get everything into the first release that you want to get into the game. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we had to spend a couple of months really just dealing with the demand for the game and mm -hmm. keeping it operating when we really would have loved to have rolled up our sleeves and add to some of the features that, you know, we had been working on and didn't make the first cut. So it was kind of painful there for a couple of months as we kind of paused to take care of operations. And uh, but you know, now we've gotten back to building, yes. you know, cool features for the game. So, yeah. I think the really wonderful thing was that you know that period when when it first came out, you know, you lo everywhere you looked, there was a, there was a great fan story about people, you know, getting over anxiety or meeting friends or you know overcoming so many hardships just because of this game. You know, getting healthy. What was was there a favorite story that you had that kind of? Feedback? Well, it is great to see that, um, you know, and I think it's you know the game is uh, for many people. It's an excuse to get out of the house. It's a little bit of extra motivation to get some exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something to do with your friends or family, or it's uh, you know it's a way for people to get together with new friends and to have an activity that they can do together. Mm -hmm. um, it was incredibly gratifying to see the stories come back of people making new friends, people you know dealing with issues or just kind of uh, seeing an improvement in their life you yeah. know, through that activity. So you know we think it's awesome, and I hope there will be more games that kind of utilize the you know those motivational factors mm -hmm. to to do more games like this because i do think they um can have an incredible benefit for people they really can so finally what's the rarest pokemon that you've caught <laughs> um you know i um i value the pokemon for the ones that i like more than the rarity okay. so you know tentacool is just the coolest pokemon so that's my buddy he's a tentacool <laughs> now uh, and yeah, so that's my favorite and my proudest sketch. Arcanine all the way, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> thank awesome. you very much and congratulations. Cool, thank you.